In today's video, I wanna talk about all of these videos where women are telling their experience of getting flown out by a man. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, we're starting to see a good bit of these testimonial videos of women saying that a man flew them out. You know, the man paid for the plane ticket, picked them up at the airport. And these women are saying it was a horrific event for them because they got stranded, they got left with no way in a, in a city that they did not know, you know, their surroundings didn't know how to get around. And this is all because, you know, these lustful men were looking for some transactional sex, meaning I flew you out, paid for your plane ticket, you know, don't even mind spending some money on you, but you're gonna give up some sex. These women show up you know, saying they're on their period or that they're not gonna sleep with these men and then all hell breaks loose. And I would advise men and women this. I would advise men, you don't need to be flying no woman out unless, you know, you are considering her as a wife. That's a whole nother story. And then the sexual part, you know, you don't even need to be partaking in that until marriage. Listen to what I'm saying. You got men that are so silly and ignorant, they'll waste their money thinking that the math, math, a plane ticket equals sex. A plane ticket don't equal sex. Maybe if you're dealing with prostitutes and, and, and harlots and sugar babies, maybe that. But for a lot of these women, they're looking at the opportunity and, and, and say, oh man, I ain't never been out there. And they get stranded. Women, I'm telling you, you know, if you're not in no committed relationship and a man's not desiring you for marriage, I'm telling you, don't take that bait. Oh, I'll fly you out. We have a good time, man. We go eat some steak and, you know, go shopping and all of this. I'm telling you, you're, you're dealing with a generation of lustful, of wickedly lustful men that don't want to fulfill a duty to you. Yeah, they probably will fly you out and spend this money on you but you're gonna get turned out in the process and your body count's gonna go up. You know, save up your own money as a woman and go go see something that you ain't seen. But just being an opportuni opportunist as a woman is gonna backfire on you, I promise you. It is going to backfire. And you see these videos of women recording men and these men is in the background talking about, no, nah, you got to go, you got to go, you know? All of this craziness. When you could have, you could have made it known. I wouldn't, if no man is considering, if the man is not considering uh, you for marriage, I would advise you against traveling that far with somebody that doesn't have a genuine interest in you. Even if you tell this man, hey, I'm not having no sex with you. I don't matter. It's not about the material stuff. Matter of fact, I would rather, you need to make that known also. Rather than you just uh, coming out here, flying me out here and trying to buy me all this stuff and embellish me, like it's not what it is, you know, let these men know you don't even have to do all that, man. We can do something simple. It don't have to be all extreme and extravagant. It can be something simple. That way, you know, the expectation is not as high, but I would advise women against this. You're dealing with lustful men and not only do they have a problem with, with fornication, but they got problems with anger and all this stuff. Some of these men lash out on women because the women is not doing what they want. Man, I done flew you out and we done went and had a, a $300 date and I done bought you these clothes. In these men's mind, that equates to booty. That equates to a whole lot of booty. And you gonna suffer as a woman because here you are, the minute you, the minute this man finds out that you ain't giving up no booty, you man wanna drop you off at an intersection full of crackheads and hobos. You're putting yourself in high risk situations as a woman, putting yourself in very high risk situations. 
You know, what if, what if that man decides to do something to you? Oh, I didn't spend this money. I'm finna take. It. You got men out there that think like that. And you got, here's the, here's the bad part. You got men out there promoting flying women out to get some booty. You got men out there telling, yeah, all you got to do, man, you know, is just you got videos out there on it. Yeah, just just fly fly her on out, man. And you know, three hundred dollar plane ticket, man, and she gonna give it up. You got men out there saying this crap, and I'm telling you, hey, you might want to be watchful in these last days. You might want to be mindful because a lot of stuff you got to think, man. Women are to be covered. You're not gonna get covered by that type of man, man. I've only flown, I've only flown one woman out in my life, and that's my wife. That's my wife. I was deployed. I was deployed before we got married and I was building a house that we later moved into when I uh, redeployed. And I said, hey, I need you to go check on, you know, the process to make sure everything is in line. I'm only getting a certain amount of pictures, but I want you to do a walkthrough. So before she was my wife, but we was, you know, engaged, I flew her out. I was, I was across the pond to go check on this. You know, made sure she had some money. She handled the business, you know, and, and, and went back home. I would advise against all this getting flown out, especially to other countries. Women, there's men in Dubai that will fly you out. And if you are ignorant enough, you know, you are going to enter into a dark world, the dark world, underworld of Dubai. And you're going to be sitting there looking crazy when you didn't got violated. I'm telling you, be mindful of this stuff. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Wow.